CompTIA A Plus Core 2, 220-1102, Practice Exam. Questions 141 through 145. This video is part of our practice exam video series and is filled with questions that closely resemble the real exam. So are you prepared to test your knowledge? Great, let's begin. Question 141. A system administrator needs to restrict access to a confidential file on a Linux server so that only a specific group of users can read and write to it. Which of the following commands should the administrator use to change the file permissions accordingly? The answer is, B. Chamod. The Chamod command in Linux is used to change directory and file permissions. This command allows the administrator to specify which users or groups have read, write, and execute permissions for a specific directory or file. By adjusting these permissions, the administrator can control who can view, modify, or execute the file or directory. This is particularly useful for maintaining security and confidentiality, as it ensures that only authorized users or groups can access sensitive information. Question 142. A graphic designer is working on a complex 3D rendering project and notices that the rendering process is taking a long time and the display is choppy. Upgrading which of the following components would most likely resolve the issue? The answer is B. Graphics card. For complex 3D rendering projects, the graphics card plays a crucial role as it is responsible for processing and rendering images, videos, and animations. Upgrading to a more powerful graphics card can enhance the system's ability to handle these tasks, leading to significantly improved performance and higher frame rates. This results in smoother visuals and faster rendering times. Question 143. A company needs a solution that will prevent employees from enabling virtualization technology. Which of the following measures should be implemented to achieve this? The answer is A. Implement UEFI passwords. Setting a UEFI password will restrict access to the system's firmware settings, including the ability to enable or disable virtualization technology. This ensures that only authorized personnel can make changes to these critical settings, aligning with the company's security policy. Question 144. A website allows users to submit comments on its blog posts. Which of the following attacks would involve inserting malicious scripts into the comment section to execute arbitrary code in the browser? The answer is C. XSS. Cross-site scripting, often written as XSS, is an attack where an attacker injects malicious scripts into content that is then served to other users. This attack occurs when an attacker inputs malicious scripts into a website, such as blog's comment section, which are then executed by unsuspecting users' browsers. This can lead to unauthorized actions being performed on behalf of the users, often without their knowledge. This type of attack takes advantage of vulnerabilities in the website's handling of user input. Question 145. A company's office is facing an issue with numerous unauthorized connection attempts to their corporate Wi-Fi network. Which of the following settings should be disabled to reduce these connection attempts? The answer is D. SSID broadcast. When you disable the SSID broadcast, you make the Wi-Fi network name, hidden from devices that are scanning for available networks. This reduces the chance of unauthorized users attempting to connect, as they will not see the network name in their list of available Wi-Fi networks. However, it is important to note that this is only a basic security measure and should be used in conjunction with stronger security protocols. So, did any of these questions give you a tough time? Don't worry if they did, it's all part of the learning process. Luckily, Certification Synergy has a wealth of free video content at your disposal. To stay connected with our latest IT learning resources, just give a quick click on the subscribe button. This simple action ensures you're always updated about our newest video releases.
Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more great content.